Hello YouTube, Jedimon2005 here with a review of the SH Figure Arts Shocker Combat Man. So, uh, this is yet another show of uh, figure release. And this time it's it's the Shocker, or the grunt, the guy who grunts and goes, Eee! Uh, so we do ha we have that now. That's that's how we're doing this. So, uh, we have Conrad show logo, the name Shocker Combat Man, and then the name there in big English. Picture of him brandishing this this knife thing. Uh, him, the name, name at the top, name on the other side. On the back, him doing his pose. Hey! You see him up close. You see him with his stick, and then him getting kicked. See, there's Shin Ichigo, right? That's that's what Shin Ichigo is gonna look like, and that's that's uh, you can see the differences there. So uh, let's let's get him out of this box and really go through some fun times. So here's here's the Shocker Combat Man. He's got his knife, he's got his stick, and he's got uh, some hands. So that's he's got that going on. Oh, I see. The little tiny picture is him holding a taco metal because of that movie. And this is in an old package. That's weird. Here's here's Shocker Combat Man. All right. Now, the thing with the Taco Metal is actually a special hand. If I can go ahead and get that out here, I'll show you. Um, so here it is. Him holding uh, a Taka Cell Metal to be uh, just like in whatever that movie was. There it is. All right. Ta you can see the Taka. And you can see, see it's him holding it. Finding it, thus leading to shocker greed being uh, created. So let's uh, let's focus back in on him. So this is him, right? We got his face. He's got the shocker logo. He's got like a humany face through that mask thing. The skeletal design down his body. His shocker belt with the emblem. Um, his little you know showy -e arms and legs, just like any other riders would have. Uh, his feet. He's just all black everywhere else, right? His belt. I like these zippers on the back of his feet, his boots. That's pretty neat. I guess it's plastic on his chest. I didn't take the plastic off. Oh, plastic is staying on. It doesn't want to come off. So, it's going to stay because I'm a bastard like that. Alright, so this is his stick. Right, that's, that's his stick that he's these like eagle bird heads on it. Right, we got this, this bird head on the handle, right, and then grips on each side, and then our shocker uh, dagger knife has the shocker emblem on it. Looks really nice. I like it. Uh, so let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to go. I mean, we're going to go straight into posing this guy. There's not much else to him. Um, so let's let's put him in a pose with the knife because. Uh, this stick is just pissing me off. Uh, mostly because I just saw Ichigo with a stick. So, I'm going to get a knife holding hand. Alright, I'm going to get an open hand for the other one. Alright, so I got this open hand, uh, and then I put the, the knife holding hand over here. To try and kind of mimic the, uh, the, the front of the box, he's going to be a lot creepy, like, I'm going to grab you, probably going to molest you. You probably want to stay away from me. I'm a creepy man in a black suit with a ski mask on. And then we're going to go ahead and put the knife in his hand. Right, like this. It's just right in. Alright, now, now he looks even more like a rapist. Um, Alright, he's... I'll take the rapist for 600. Um, so there we go. Shocker. Combat man, everyone. Um... That's really all there is to him. You know, I mean, he's okay. Uh, you know, it's something that you uh, probably could get a couple um, if you if you had the money that maybe, you know, army build slightly. I, I wouldn't go extreme army building. Um, cause he's not that cheap yet. Um, he probably will get there at some point. Um, and they are making all black versions um, that are Bandai Collector Shop exclusives. They're making them in packs of one, three, and six. Uh, I guess to help you, let me build. 
and stuff. So, you know, there's always that option as well to, to get more Shocker uh, combat men. So, you know, it's, it's, I mean, he's a decent enough figure, but I just, I just can't seem to get too excited for him for a guy that goes around doing a Nazi salute going, Eee! Um, so, yeah. So until next time, check out the podcast, RouseRangersRambles.com, bring you the latest Toku news and the craziest way possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.